If you're thinking about expertising Pakal, but you haven't done it yet, wait until the end of this video before you make your decision. What's going on guys, cheers. Now it's been a couple of days since Pakal was introduced into Rise of Kingdoms and we've seen some incredibly insane rallies go down, three hours plus of players putting their troops on the line just to see if Pakal Herald is the new rally meta. And coming soon, we have a Mightiest Governor event where you're going to be able to get your hands on Pakal for the second time and you may seriously be considering it, right? You may be seriously looking at all the hype surrounding this rally combination and you may be thinking, this is it, I'm going to go for it, he's insanely good. But before before you do, we have to talk about a few things that you have to keep in consideration when investing in Pakal, right? Because I personally think that most players should not be investing in this commander and even those of you who are rally leaders should at least question if he's the best choice for your sculptures and we're going to be talking about that in this video now i do want to preface that by saying that based on the initial reports i think a pakal herald rally is one of the top two or maybe top three best rally combinations in the game right now and certainly is the best infantry rally combo i've seen so far it, it just it is in fact an incredible rally combination but that doesn't mean that you should spend 690 legendary commander sculptures on pakal assuming you already have herald expertise and if not that's an even bigger investment so i really started thinking about this and i have to give credit where credit is due i started thinking about this more when i watched gecko's video talking about how pakal is not going to be rally meta but the gist of his video was that you really can't sustain a war if you're only rallying with infantry and only garrisoning with infantry because you're going to run out of infantry troops very very fast the only exception to this is if your entire kingdom is filled with oil princes and everybody is just an absolute leviathan kraken of a player who can spend half a million dollars on this game every year if that's the case then you guys fine just do whatever you want <laughs> don't even watch this video or at least drop thumbs up on it before you leave but whatever but for 99.99 percent of the player base they're going to run out of infantry within the first couple of passes right like it's just it's just not going to be sustainable and what we've seen from call and Herald so far is that while they are one of the best rally combinations in the game, they are not so much better at defeating Zenobia than the other commanders that we've already been using like Zhang Yu Chanjagupta. Now you could make the case that they're better, right? And that maybe they are, but I, you're not going to be able to make the case that they are exponentially far and away in a class of their own. Like they're just, they're not right. They're good, but that's not the case. Whereas a Zenobia YSS is its own class like that is the meta for garrisons right and we've seen some yadiga and she can do her thing but really that the meta is exclusively zenobia yss that, that's really what you see most of so when you're deciding how are we going to use our infantry you're most likely going to save your infantry for your garrisons because that's where it's going to definitely matter the most where you really have the least amount of wiggle room when it comes to rallying sure you could rally with pakal herald or you could rally with zhang yu chandragupta that has a similar outcome when attacking a Zenobia YSS garrison and use down all your cavalry, right? And save all your infantry for the garrisons. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And what that means is we have to look forward for what's coming next. And we know from experience that most likely the next set of commanders coming to the game is going to be archers. Now, when they drop these new archers in the game, right, it's going to probably shake up the meta a bit, right? I, I just have a feeling that they're not going to drop some lukewarm archers into the game because of a few reasons. One, Zenobia YSS has been around for long enough. And I think that there's a high probability that one of the archer commanders that comes into the game is going to pair very, very well with Nebu, right? There's a high probability that we see a rally commander come in that pairs well with Nebu or pairs well with the other archer that comes on the wheel of fortune and can finally check Zenobia YSS. Now, if that is the case and we see a really powerful archer rally meta come into the game, what's going to happen is you'll probably see a little bit of a rise in Yadviga garrisons, right? And if that's the case, then sure, your Pakal Herald Rally is going to be a bit more valuable than it is right now because you're not going to be saving all your infantry for your Zenobia YSS because it'll probably be garrisoning with Yadviga. However, you will run the risk of them switching to Zenobia because I think more players have Zenobia YSS than they do Yadviga. And you'll also not have the best rally combination anymore right? Even if Yadviga becomes garrison meta because of the increase in archer rallies, it's still probably going to be the case that 
if the new archer rally can defeat Zenobia YSS, absolutely no question, then that means that that combination is absolutely better than Pakal Herald. So while they do gain a little bit in that scenario, because they'll be able to counter the more common Yadviga garrisons, they're still not going to be the best rally combination. And in that case, if you're considering investing in Pakal because Pakal Herald rallies will be meta, you might want to consider saving those sculptures because the next set of commanders could have an archer rally meta commander but there's another outcome another outcome is that one of these archers could be the new garrison meta again zenobia has been around for a long time it wouldn't be surprising if we saw another artemisia for example artemisia was powerful for a bit in this game and she was a very nice garrison commander we could see a rise in a second Artemisia 2.0, right? With a very powerful Archer Garrison. If Archer Garrison becomes meta, you're going to see even fewer Pakal Herald rallies because if the meta is Archers, then you're probably just going to keep rallying with Zangyu Chanjagupta because it's already effective against infantry, which is something that counters them. So in that outcome, there's literally no change other than fewer Pakal Herald rallies. The third scenario that could happen is that the next pair includes one insanely powerful rallying commander and one insanely powerful garrison commander, which sounds insane, but you know, they almost did that with Yadviga and Zangyu, right? We saw one rallying commander and we saw one garrison commander. And they could do that with the upcoming archers and if that's the case then i don't even know like it's going to be absolute chaos you're going to need to have multiple players with multiple pairs of rallies and garrison uh captains that are different unit types it's going to be it's going to be crazy if that's the case okay but no matter what the outcome is of the next archer implementation i think that there's still going to be a role for pakal herald somewhere and that is that it's probably always going to be the tank rally you send out first if you're going to double triple quadruple rally a flag a fort a player whatever the case is a pakal herald rally just really can't be swarmed right there's just such a downside to swarming a pakal herald it's just not really gonna happen right it's just not it's so tanky and if you swarm it you're gonna take so much more counterattack damage you're gonna have herald turn into an aoe monster it's just it's just you don't want to do it right you don't want to do it the trades are going to be bad just don't now the final thing i want you guys to take into consideration when you're thinking about maxing out pakal is are you able to max your kvk tech every single time that your kingdom needs you to because no longer are the days where you can just have max commanders and max equipment and just be a rally captain or just be a garrison captain like you just can't do it and again pakal is really a rally commander like you can use him in the open field but he's got no aoe and you're just you know if you're gonna go for an infantry in the open field just go for chook he's just better in the open field than pakal in my opinion so if you're thinking about pakal it's only for rallies and you have to answer that question can you max the tech every single time it's incredibly expensive right it's incredibly expensive so think about it before you invest and guys with that being said make sure you drop a thumb up on the video it helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdom players might see it of course comment down below what you think about pakal herald do you think i'm right do you think i'm wrong i would love to hear from you guys and of course if you're new around here make sure you go down there subscribe to the channel click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below and again shout out to uh, gecko's video is going to be down there as well make sure you show that some support there's also a link to download rise of kingdoms for your pc in the description it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms you're gonna get to play it on a bigger screen just like you see here and again if you don't like it you know you can always uninstall it later but it does help out the channel with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace